wetness. 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 Wet air passing through the filter. The filter cleans the air so that the dirt doesn't build up on the evaporative coil that sits above the furnace. Okay, with you so far. So now we're taking the energy from the hot molecules in the air, sucking it over the evaporative coil, which takes the heat right out of it and absorbs it into the refrigerant lines. Now the air molecules continue on into the supply duct, past your registers, back into the house. Those molecules now have a reduced amount of energy or heat that are in them and it feels cold. Ah, so there's really no such thing as cold. It's just energy or no energy. There's really no such thing as cold. It's just energy or no energy. Zero energy in the cold air. Tons in the hot air. Walls are cold, floors cold, everything's cold. Creates moisture, which is why I'm so... So, in summation, when warm, humid air from the outside comes into contact with the cold surfaces in your house, like floors, walls, mirrors, windows, uh, the air rapidly cools and condenses on the surface of those things, causing the wetness. I don't know why I felt the need to make this video. Like, children learn this in grade school. But for some reason, I looked at it and I really, I wanted, I wanted to dig into it. I wanted to really understand how condensation works. And I don't think, I still don't think I'm really getting it. I'm almost 40.